Hello, I'm Edwin and this is my review for Spurpunk. So let's get right into the game. Uh, the first thing that I see is that there are 10 levels and level 10 is bigger which catches my eye and it makes me think that it's probably the hardest, le hardest level out of the 10. Um, I can also see that there are different icons in each level making me think that uh, I will probably be learning something new each level. Um, so far, I've only unlocked four towers um, from multiple ones that are in the game. Uh, the four towers that I have unlocked and understand are the Sheriff Tower, which it's a simple shooting tower and hits one target at a time. The blacksmith tower, which uh, creates splash damage, hitting multiple enemies at a time. The saloon tower, which uh, slows down enemies. And the barracks tower, which uh, spawns a machine that fights for you. Um, next, as I understand that there is four types of rewards uh, slash currencies. The first one are stars, which you can obtain uh, up to three stars per level. And I am confused as to how the stars are obtained or what are the, the prerequisites to get a, the star. Um, the next type of currency are coins. Coins are used to buy spells right now i have unlocked only two spells which are the dirigible and the freezing spell um the dirigible drops uh bombs or explosives in a horizontal path and the freezing spell freezes uh everything on the board except every it freezes every enemy in the board the next type of currency are diamonds, which can also can be used to buy chests and can be used to upgrade cards. Cards can be placed in the map and each card has a different function. So far I've only unlocked three cards, the ice card, which freezes one enemy. Um, the turn code which turn confuses one enemy and makes it fight for you and the boom hat which you can place it in a scale mat and it'll act as an explosive you can also place your cards in your deck and you can put up to five cards um, the last currency is the elemental tokens which are also uh, used to upgrade cards. As you can see, the ice card, uh, we need the leaf elemental token. The turn code, we need the purple elemental token. And the boom head, we need the uh, lightning bolt elemental token. Um. Initially, I was confused about the elemental tokens because I got them in level 1 and I wasn't told what they meant up until level 3. Um, another thing I'm confused is that you can pass a level without killing any enemies and you can obtain 3 stars losing lives as well um, i understand that the cards have cooldowns but i do not understand why there is a green sh uh, shades of green when places them in a cross pattern um similarly when you see when you see a spell um it does the same thing but it casts uh shades of purple um another thing i'm confused is that when using the dirigible um spell 
it attacks in a horizontal path however however when placing it as you can see it, there's nothing that shows that it'll attack in that horizontal path and lastly i was confused as to why the the boom head was introduced so late when the skelmet was introduced in level 4 um, by the time I got to level 9 I had forgotten what skelmets were and I was a bit confused on how to use it but yep that is my review for spur punk thank you